Friends of a local family business are going nuts after learning the small shop will stay open. For a while, the future looked uncertain, but as Wakisha Bailey shows us, the community rallied to make sure they can continue to shell out favorites for years to come. In Ardmore, there's one shop in particular where people come from all over to crack open the holidays. Can you stick out? A half a cup, please. The head nut is all about the personal experience. It's charm. It's old style business meeting new style customers. Our customers actually see the product going into the bag instead of it being done at a warehouse or a small closed store. Lee Molino Jr.'s family business goes back to 1945 when it was known as Tempty Nuts. Small little packages sold at local supermarkets and evolved into what it is now. A bustling store that's filled with nuts, spices, candies, and coffees from all over the world. This isn't just a store to the Molino family, it's a home. I was actually in a playpen back over there. Where lifelong bonds are made. Charlie Gracie, friend, the next door neighbor, for about 30 some years. And leaned on each other during times of war. Actually, it was my grandfather, yeah. He held it together while I was uh, spending time in Vietnam. And then when I came back, I came right back to it the next day. Wanted to kiss the ground in Philadelphia because <laughs> I was still alive. And the last five months, it's been a different kind of war for the head nut and dozens of businesses along the main line. The township wanted to rezone the area and replace the existing small businesses with newer storefronts and two-level apartments or condos. That's the wrong ending for a lifetime of work. Customers and supporters of the head nut attended town meetings and fought for the small businesses in this district. About 13,000. 13,000 people signed a petition to stop the rezoning plan, and the township did, proving the personal experience always makes a difference. I'm hoping the place will remain if they're ongoing. As you see it is now is how it will continue. Keisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News.